What's going on, Chill with Ant Squad? It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we're gonna check out Anime O Heads Must Be Start Part Two. If you haven't seen my first uh, reaction to it, make sure you go ahead and check that out. Cause when it comes to old old niggas in anime, they take disrespect to a whole different level. Like these old heads, they built different, bro. Like just keep it real with you. I would when I was watching uh, old folks how they are in anime. When I first got into anime growing up, yeah, they take disrespect to a whole nother level. And how they are built, they are built different. And they are really a different type type of breed. Like, when they go up against, it's simple. You mess with the old folk in anime, you fuck up and you find out. That's all I'm saying, but enough waste of time. We're going to go ahead and check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification every time I post. Roll to 1K. Let's get into this video. Kinkiness. Get away from me, you creepy old man. Who them kidding need to be sucked on? Experience. Take this, Grandpa. Huh? Let me see a ball, Sonny. Whoa! Oh, look squishy. <laughs> Wisdom. Well, I don't know why you're laughing, buddy. Your daddy dead. Absurd strength. Damn. I hope you got health insurance, you old ass n***a. <laughs> oh, God. These four elements make up an old head. But we ain't here for all that. Let's watch some old niggas box. Please. This man is well over 300 years old and decided he was going to oh, put yeah. up to Mas a multi-universal. Oh, yeah. Master Roshi. Oh, man. Master Roshi. He's built different. Ass whooping tournament in sandals. Bruh. Sandals, nigga. Like, look at the competition, bro. Get that weak shit on my face. Bitch. Oh, no, no, no. Way. Oh, my nigga. Unk didn't even care. He really pulled up on these young whippersnappers hitting that. Oh, I'm tired of clapping granny cheeks. Anime pose. And then suddenly gets attacked with this weak ass banana looking boomerang. Then this shorty pulls up trying to attack him with the hammer from Smash Bros. <laughs> Nigga just weaves it. And she looks so surprised. She's like, what? How did these old ass dodge? Uh, and Roshi is just staring at her cheeks from behind laughing like, huh, young lady, I'd rather not have to Damn. beat your ass. Can you just pop a titty and call it an A? Whoa! Oh, she, actually, listen. she starts stripping, trying to get Unk on that type of timing, trying to catch him lacking. Can this man's wiener even get hard anymore? Yeah! Um, probably gonna get cranked to start like one of these. There's no way Man. Roshi's gonna fall for that. He would never sell our whole universe for some titties. Man, those are some fat ass titties. Wallahi, we're finished. I ain't gonna lie, I'd fold for some alien coochie too, but that shit got me oh. wild <laughs> out of this galaxy. Anyway, so Roshi gets lost in the sauce. Straight up tries to dive into that jalooper, and his bitch tries to stab his balls. But Up just catches her spear with two fingers and is like, bitch, why did you just try to cut off my balls? Uh, aren't you like 80? How the hell do you have so much strength? Uh, snap. Shorty is huh? perplexed. Whole time she ain't know Roshi keeps that Viagra on him. He's hitting these meat hardening movements and he's just scaring this girl like, yo, like yep. what you see, Sonny? Ew, why is this? Yep. She, he disrespected her so much she eliminated herself from the tournament. I remember this, watching this live. I was like, yeah, girl, you messed up. You should know and you should have learned by now that old folks, they're a different breed. So wrinkly. Yo, this man did not take Viagra. He took Tren. Unk is literally scaring the hose away and growing bigger and bigger by the second. Show, show, show me your feet. That is not Riz, Unk. So she runs off, but this wrinkly old pervert is not done yet, bro. This other Yo. shorty pulls up out the shadows, trying to test Gramps. And hold on, this one's low key powerful. She's God. Is Shorty opium? She put Unk in a Genjutsu and was like, Got a wizard money gang. We love casting spells. Then she just bitch slapped him. And when oh. he lands, she pops up out the shadows all inconspicuous. And literally, Shikamaru'd Unk with the shadow technique. Now that you can't move, I'm gonna force you to listen to Yeet. Oh, hell no. I thought this bitch was opium. Terrible music containment wave. Evil no! containment. Yeet did fall off. Unk literally put her in a bottle and then tossed yeah. her into out of yep. space. I, I think he killed that bitch, bro. This man ain't no, even care. Did. He's no, Fortnite he emoting on their asses. You shouldn't have done that. Now it's my turn to fight. Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Hey. Y'all serious? All three of y'all niggas in the fourth universe trying to get your ass whooped? I don't know who told bro he's the main character, but he transforms into the buffest KFC victim I've ever seen. Nigga tried to dash at him, but Unk just slaps him away with one hand. What a weak ass attack. You better ask the writers for a power up, you little nigga. Bro got up just to give one of the corniest lines I've ever heard. You're like an old rotting twig. 
Easy to snap. Jumps at him and then proceeds to get absolutely styled on. Gramps is weaving all his attacks, talking about some. Your attacks are so predictable. Up, up, down, down. And this is not Tekken. This man jumped no, away and not. said it's talent time. He then jumped back in and Roshi just hurdles this nigga and kicks his ankle. Oh, what kind damn. of weak ass catchphrase is it's talent time? Nigga should have just said it's finger looking good or some shit. So now you would think Mr. KFC is ready to call it quits, but he gets back up and punches Roshi so hard he flies back. Yo, is this nigga actually the main character? He's wailing on him, bro. Nearly yeah. made Gramps shit out of hemorrhoid and then continues to spam heavy attacks. This bird nigga might have actually asked for a power up, bro. Why did he just start cooking all of a sudden? So now it seems this 300 year old man is done for since Ronnie Coleman, the fucking bird, just gave this man the Floyd me with her special. But now, nah, Unk gets right back up and starts charging up the sexiest, buffest, nigga horniest, comment, homie, ever seen <laughs> sends yep. us to the straight to the 20 piece family bucket <laughs> and then he has a heart attack goku pulls up yeah. all well i was watching that i really th i really thought that master roshi died in the tournament of power i'm i'm not trying to be mean or disrespectful or anything i'm just keeping it real like i really thought master roshi died in the tournament after hitting that uh kamehameha sending that bird ass nigga out of uh getting him eliminated i really thought he was dead but Thank you. Thanks to Goku for reviving him. Oh, my master. Wake up. Wake up. Bulma's titties are out. Where? And he wakes up and just walks <laughs> off. All right, before we get to the next old head, I got to give a quick shout out to the old heads. Please. All right, so this nigga Eisen was just folding absolutely everybody. Had this man Ichigo standing there with his cock out, scared shitless. He tries to jump in, but then Unk pulls up with literal hellfire. Stay oh. back. You don't like that, little nigga. I've just killed all your weak ass grunts, and you think you have a chance, old geezer? Respect your elders, bitch. Unk tries to slice Eisen, but he just gets absolutely weaved, and then Eisen sword just gives his oh. organs a hug. Look at this nigga. He probably gassing himself up in his own head like, Oh my yep. god, I actually hit him. Don't get it twisted, little nigga. You're not getting away from this shit. This 2,000 year old man let himself Two get stabbed just so 2,000 years old? Oh. oh my god, these yo Some of these old heads there now that I understand why they old and I know understand why you should never mess with old niggas in anime Aizen wouldn't be able to get away from his suicide attack. Unk had zero fucks to give. He was fully ready to suicide and take everybody in this bitch down with him. You yep. know if you do this, all your homies are gonna die too. If I die, my niggas gonna die with me. Oh nah, this nigga's bugging. Help me! Help! All of a sudden, this fucking goofy goober pulls up behind him, grabs uh -huh. Unk's sword like he was oh. a goddamn twig, and just yeah. yeets him away. This nigga Aizen yeah. knew there was no way he was taking on an anime old head on his own, so he gave birth to an anime jit just so he could have a fucking chance. And we already know how powerful anime kids are, bro. Lil Bro yep. just chilling in the flames, looking all badass and shit. But once he seals Unk's powers and you can actually see him, this nigga looks dumb as shit. Lil Bro really thought it was gonna be easy to pack him up without his sword. Dude got a second hole punched into him and Gramps was just like, you really thought I was gonna be light work without a sword? I still got these hands, nigga. So now Unk's getting serious. Took off his robe to show off his bulging abs. <laughs> and they start squabbling mid air, just throwing them bitches. And while the little dude's busy button mashing circle, Unk is tanking it while lecturing him. You sure yeah. you have the speed, but your punches need more power. You see, back in 23 BC, when I finally turned 30, so Jin just completely ignored ignores his advice, doubles it, and gives it to the same person. Pathetic. Give me them hands, bitch. This oh. man's back pain hurt more than those punches. He then hits this nigga so hard, he disintegrates from the oh. inside out like Thanos just snapped his ass into oblivion. Thanks. And then Gramps starts lecturing Aizen, but Aizen's just like, oh yeah, he's actually a built-in nuke too. What? And Gramps gets absolutely kaboom, trying to save everybody. Aizen knew the only way he was gonna beat this nigga was if he finessed him. Now he's standing over him, about to finish him, but Gramps obviously is not going out like that, so he uses Hado 69 420 oh. and Aizen realizes he should just leave this old man alone. But that's not even Unk's craziest feat. In the new what? season, Unk was on timing. Oh. But in order to see that, y'all gonna have to sub, hit the like button, and wait for part two. I'm sorry. Baki got so many old heads that gotta be stopped. I could make a whole special on him, bro. Like, look at, look at this nigga. This fat ass was pointing a gun at him and he just looked at him like, you're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. He literally took bro's pistol, pointed it to his face, smiled like someone said, say cheese, and then unloaded the entire clip into his own bro! face for fun. Yeah, they're definitely getting their own bit. Yo. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. My mans took the gun from, from the young dude. 
pointed at his cheese, saying say cheese, and he just shot himself so many times just for fun. Like, what the fuck? Him shooting himself in the in the cheek that you should be dead. Ain't no way in hell you should be surviving that shit. These old heads are built different. I'm sorry. But the unk I'm talking about today is Kaku Kayo, a 146-year-old nigga in a wheelchair that would still whoop your ass. In his first fight, Gramps was fighting this knockoff Bruce Lee. What the fuck kind of warm-up is he doing? They showed this man's entire backstory trying to hype him up just for him to get done like this, bro. Take this, Grandpa. Huh? Let me see your balls, sonny. Oh! Well, looks yeah! Got sent home with a flick to the nuts. <laughs> My man literally violated him by pulling his pants down and just grabbing his uh down parts and that's how he ended the fight. Oh hell no, nah, bro. If I was the dude, never fight again in your life. Then he went up against Yujiro freaking oh. Hanma, the nigga who just a few episodes ago put his freaking hand into his younger homie's face, whispered to dude, Hey, don't move, nigga. This shit could get tragic. New paddock. He ain't listening. Yujiro was like, Oh, you see, now you messed up. Yoink! Then this man turns around and tosses his face into the crowd. Yeah, that's the nigga he's facing. Unk wheeled himself out in a wheelchair, but the second the gong rang, it was straight business. Yeah. This is why I tell everybody, Baki is the most random show ever. These it is to go for a stroll around the arena just to discuss the severe amount of steroids they are taking. Like, look at Grandpa's back. What the fuck? We need a natty or not on this nigga, bro. And why is he lifting him like that mid-conversation? My nigga! Matter. These niggas are finally squabbling. So this man swings first, but Unk dodged it with the most light skin maneuver ever. Leaves his glasses on this man's hand, and Damn. Yujiro's like, You forgot these. Oh, thank you. Forgot the shit, bitch. And just kicks Unk in the fucking jaw. Had this nigga's mouth twerking. Immediately after that, Yujiro hits the Yo. zestiest axe kick possible. But Gramps is a professional punch eater. Mm. He literally has a metal plate in his jaw. Hey, hey yo! Sonny, let me at least get one old nigga punch in. Respect for elders and all. Wait, what the hell? This elderly man had Yujiro Hanma, of all people, scared for his life. Yeah, like, yo, and I have to say this right now. Yujiro did one of the most disrespectful shit. In, an, in anime, if you haven't seen my reaction to Yuji Rahama by CJ the Champ, make sure you go ahead and check that out. But he was literally scared for his life. I've never seen Yujiro scared of his life because of that mean punch by the old dude. Like, that's that's a first. What are you scared of, you pussy? And he starts walking towards him like a zombie from Call of Duty. Talking about some respect your elders, you weak ass nigga. I may be old, but I ain't no bitch. Just pushing him around and then hit him with a baby, 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 baby. Now it seems <laughs> like Yujiro's getting his ass washed. But yep. this man just starts laughing. And he's like, You really think you're the only one with a metal play in their jaw, Gramp? Shut up, bitch! Oh! <laughs> oh no, he's actually nice like that. This man uppercutted Grandpa with no remorse. Didn't even let Unc land before he hit him with a devastating right. Had the whole crowd shook thinking this nigga yeah. just died. Man, this shit is not funny no more, bro. Stop letting Netflix animate anime. Look at this dude's face. That is not Yujiro Hanma. That is Booty Hole Kanya. So Yujiro just keeps violating Gramps for like another five minutes. I don't know why they keep spinning these niggas like Blade Blades. Yujiro is literally tilted 90 degrees, but I sent Kaku Kayo to the ER when Kaku gives him a four piece mm. followed by a sky kick oh. that just absolutely exposes his horrendous hairline. God damn. This man then decides to flex his trendy thing as possible back. Mm, just imagine rubbing peanut butter in the crevices and just Wow! <laughs> God damn, nigga. With all them roids, I just know your penis is tiny. Well, please continue to fuck me up. <laughs> I think bro knocks him dementia into Uncle in that last punch, bro. Because this man forgot how to fight. This nigga might as well just be slapping him with some fucking sausages. I lied, he's low-key up with him. What? Damn. Old man. Clap you love Jesus. Oh. Say good night. Is, is this nigga dead? Um, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep, he is in the gulag. All the roids have been taken, finally caught his ass. This nigga died mid-battle, bro. This old head might have been stopped if he didn't clutch the gulag five minutes later yeah. and pull back up. If this video gets 20k likes in the first yeah. week, I'm dropping part two. Make sure you go check out that link in the description for NordVPN. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs>
Yeah, bro. <laughs> that fight between that old head and Yujiro, yeah. They, that was a really good, good fight. And the fact that I've never seen Yujiro be scared of that attack that the old head did on him, like, that was insane. Like, like I said before, in the beginning of this video, of this, uh, video, you mess with an old folk, you fuck around and you find out. And you go after them, your ass is grass and it's GG's. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video so much, comment down below what you guys take, take from it. I love y'all so much for showing love and support to my channel. And if you have any more video requests, comment down below. I'll react to it. I will give you a huge shout out for it. I appreciate the time with you guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification every time I post. I'll catch you on the next video. This is Chill with Ant, signing out.